Hello, welcome to YouTube. We have reached the fall season and now we are monitoring the wolves to see how the fall will progress. We know that fall is more dominant ridden, a little bit more hormonally charged time of the year. We obviously are concerned about Denali. He's 11 years old coming into the fall, how he's going to maintain himself as we uh, see activity ramp up, but also see temperatures cool down that may affect his older joints. So at this point, we're seeing some light dominance related issues, mainly Axel, but also some food competition kind of ex issues with Grayson. But for the most part, the pack is hanging out together. And you can see here Denali in the front, Axel closest to us, Grayson just walked by. And uh, we are having a little bit of concern. Lately, Axel and Grayson have been a little bit skittish with things going on around the outside of the enclosure. And they definitely have a little more fear avoidance than Bolts and Denali do. So we're going to have to work on that with the 2020 pups. That's prompted us to increase a couple of feedings. Um, normally we just feed one carcass a week, but we find that with Grayson, he's a little bit more timid, so he's not going in on the carcass as much, so then he's not getting as much of a food resources as Denali and Axel. And so uh, that makes him a little hungry, and that makes him a little bit more tense. So we're monitoring the scats. We're trying to figure out who's getting a great meal and then um, supplementing. So uh, you may see food on Tuesdays and Thursdays as well as the torso uh, deer carcass or beaver on Saturday nights. So other than that, uh, fall colors were not as vibrant this fall because we had a lot of moisture. So things kind of stayed green and then are starting to dry up a little bit. So we don't have the vibrant colors that we have, but we certainly do have some great reflections, uh, some, you know, some great... Uh, stimuli around the enclosure again this place has come a long way in the 30 years that we've had captive wolves here so we um, certainly see a lot more vegetation and in just having a more natural environment helps with the stimuli but we're also going to be adding some uh, enrichments maybe doing three or four enrichments a day just to keep obviously the younger animals occupied Bulls does a great job as a middle ranking wolf to kind of help calm some of that youthful exuberance but you see axel there with a raised leg urination he's definitely a little bit feeling his oats as uh fall uh progresses into the winter season here so we don't have a rank order really established denali is just kind of the uh older wolf so oftentimes they defer to him but sometimes you know they get a little excited around him and you know his hips just cannot support ride ups or some of that um, activity. Although it is good for him to move around with these young guys, I'm concerned if he goes into retirement, his hips are going to have a little bit of, of an issue of not being as active and not kind of getting that mobility. So over in retirement, Grizzer, speaking of active, he's been doing a lot of play balls lately. So, uh, you know, invite Chase running uh, throughout the uh, east side retirement and you saw him kind of cut through the transition area to go to the back habitat so again they have three areas the pack holding area the the east side and the back habitat are all conjoined uh, joined by gates and um, that makes it um, again easier for them those gates have roof lines over them and we're actually doing another roof line here to uh, make sure that everything's up and uh, ready if by chance we have to bring Denali into retirement, we need to make sure that we've got uh, plenty of protected areas uh, if we do have to manage two separate retirement areas because Grizzer and Denali seem to have a little bit of history. So like I said, Grizzer is 15. One of the things we watch for him is how's his back legs. Uh, he's had a little bit of issues with some tendons. You can see here he was doing a standing urination. Uh, means that he didn't support his legs to, to raise leg, which he usually does. So when I see him doing a standing urination, that tells me that he's not feeling all that well or it's maybe a little bit stiff and he, and he doesn't want to support to, to risk lift his leg. Uh, those seem to be kind of come and go. There's no real pattern, although lately we've had some humidity that's really seemed to ramp up some of the joint issues for the older animals. And then with Luna... Uh, as you have been following Luna's case, uh, she has a spindle cell sarcoma that was uh, beyond the point of extraction. Um, it was first, uh, uh, we had a growth taken off in March, and then by July there was another growth, growth and that uh, July growth did diagnose this aggressive form of cancer. It was not completely eradicated. It is now back, and so we are 
uh, definitely keeping an eye on that and and there's likely to be no more surgical intervention on 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 this circumstance a matter of fact the the growth is returning at the same spot but also now we have a growth on her spine and then one lower down on her chest so we see her moving around uh well you know we want to make sure that staff have plenty of time to interact with her she's willingly um interacting with staff she likes body work she's got a great diet yet she um was we had her on a, a pound and a half uh, where we or sorry a pound where we wanted her to lose some weight uh prior to that cancer diagnosis now uh we put her back on a pound and a half so that you know we make sure that uh, her body's got resources she's certainly in good weight condition she's getting her winter coat back uh, matter of fact, we, we'd like a little less weight, but at this point, you know, we have to make her comfortable. We know that when she only gets a pound, she gets a little bit more ravenously hungry, and uh, we certainly want her to be as comfortable as possible as we as we go forward and, and try to manage this terminal p condition. Her tail is doing quite well because she's really looking for body work. She uh, allows people to handle her on a daily basis, and uh, without Aiden in the enclosure, uh, there's a lot more people that can come in with her. So we're really right now, um, the focus is going to be trying to get uh, more time with Luna um, as we see how the fall progresses. But otherwise, mm -hmm. she's she's active. She's alert. Um, she and Grizzly are getting along just great. And we are uh, looking forward to uh, hopefully some calm weeks here. So thanks for watching.